Today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet is brought to you by BTS BTS Bank, where life is dynamite. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. We don't have any sponsors. This is John Paul. So you're listening to Life's Pollock Buffet. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the weirdness of searches and search terms and how the algorithms and the semantics and ontologies and metadata all work to create really unhelpful analytics. So stick around for today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. <laughs> And if you want to join up with the completely fictional idea of BTS, BTS Bank, and not a real bank, has nothing to do with banking, just a made-up thing for the show, then hit the subscribe button and join me each day for a new episode of Life's Public Buffet. So, where did I get this whole idea about BTS, BTS Bank? Well, I was taking a deep dive into some of the Google Trends uh, data, and I was just kind of interested to know in the last week or so uh, what has been, you know, trending on YouTube and what what are people interested in. And, you know, uh, this is in English language searches, but also in uh, other languages, it's just kind of overall what what people are looking at. And, you know, it's what you might expect if you have a kind of global perspective you, there's uh, searches for a lot of searches for um premier league cricket in india i think that's premier league um i you know that's a lot of people searching for uh, a thing that you can definitely see highlights of and you could probably see whole matches uh, on uh, youtube so that makes sense to me when I change the category, so there are all of these categories, and remember we were talking about ontology and categories and things like that. So there are all of these categories of uh, searches, both um, that are kind of um, search queries uh, that are actual you know, data uh, for the search queries, um, and there's also search topics, which I think is kind of the the, when I talk about categories, this is what I'm talking about, are these search topics. And those categories are clearly inferred by machines from searches. So the place that I found the most interesting kind of non-result results, well, I mean, not helpful results, and, and this kind of like shows you why the analytics is tricky when it comes to comes to this uh, and 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 why meaning is kind of slippery in this world of um, data analytics because when you look at the search queries the top search queries um, that are in the category of finance for the last week and I I um, you know the 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 first <laughs> The first top search query is BTS, and the second one is BTS, BTS, and those are the far and away the two top searches. They're close behind each other. And the third place search is bank, and then trading is four, and then boom is five. Okay, so the search topics that get generated out of these um, searches that are going on, I think that's what's happening here, is that the first number one search topic is BTS boy band, which is, of course, BTS. And the second one is bank um, category building function. And then the third search term is song composition type. Uh, fourth is trade as a topic and then money as a topic. So I could see how these are corresponding to each other. I, and I thought, okay, well, maybe there's some sort of dissonance here. Maybe there's some sort of situation where there's a really hot topic where people are searching under BTS in a business sense, or if, excuse me, not in a business sense, because that's business is a separate uh, set of topics and categories, but in a finance sense, because uh, business and industry are linked together in these uh, trend categories. Then finance is something separate. So, so in finance, the um, you know I thought maybe there's something that has to do with finance where BTS is important. I, I found some very little to suggest this. I 
searched BTS as a stock ticker symbol, and I just got results for a company in Thailand, which doesn't seem to be, um, it didn't seem like there was any particular news about that company that would cause large, uh, you know, uh, trading, uh, large interest in a search. Um, BTS actually is associated with a publicly traded company, and that company is called Hybe, and it's basically BTS's company traded publicly. It's a, it had an IPO about four years ago, and um, that the, there is a little bit of news about that uh, insofar as the apparently there was like an AI generated CEO clone for to announce their earnings a couple weeks ago, but. I I imagine super fans of BTS probably know that the company is called Hybe, and um, I think that they are probably shareholders and probably have a bookmark to track the stock price of uh, Hybe. So I don't think it's that. And BTS uh, themselves are they're they're. They're on hiatus because they're all doing their mandatory military service in South Korea, which is, uh, I think, two years. Uh, so they're going to come back in 2025 um, when they're done with their military service. So I got to believe that these searches that are categorized under finance are um, have nothing to do do with finance are actually people searching for BTS uh, stuff, material about BTS. It, the search BTS, BTS, I, these kind of double searches happen all the time in analytics, and it just seems to be a, a fact of the search world that you're going to have like BTS, but also BTS, BTS, especially when you have big searches like this. So that is probably people searching for videos of the boy band BTS, the K-pop uh, wonders that are BTS. Yeah, if you're wondering where I got the tagline for the BTS, BTS bank, it was because of the Life is Dynamite is the lyric of their song Dynamite, which is their most popular song on YouTube there. I, you know, check out that video. It's you probably already have uh, 1.9 billion people have already watched it, or I guess it's been watched 1.9 billion times, which could be any um, combination of super fans plus um, th- a thousand views apiece. You know, so that's that that might be that might be another thing. Although I have a feeling it's probably a large number of people who've watched it a few times. I uh, super fans probably have um, downloaded copies of it somehow uh, and don't really need to go to YouTube to have it. So these are probably not mostly to be categorized as financial searches, but they get swept up into that anyway, which I find very interesting. I think the same thing is true with searches to do with bank uh, because um, (laughs) – Bank buildings. I mean, I don't. No, there's not a lot of searches going. I mean, I looked into the bank building kind of search. I mean, I don't. There's not a lot of searches going on about bank buildings. So they, that category is that topic is off, and I am not. I still haven't kind of figured out exactly how it's off, but it, something's going on there. And also, the search for bank pulls up a lot of stuff uh, from music videos to weird TikTok type challenges to all sorts of stuff that has nothing to do with bank buildings. So there's something going on there. And again, I don't think this is necessarily a financial search, although kind of smaller versions of the data, there are searches for various banks. So for example, you know, a rising search right now might be, uh, uh, you know, Bank of Japan or something. So there's a, there are searches for and but also why why bank building right why is the that has i i don't think there's a bank of japan bank building thing going on right now that i'm aware of it might be that so i mean the news there is the bank of japan i think raising interest rates to be in the positive territory which is um a real big 
Maria, it's real big news in that in terms of the interest rates in Japan and the global effects of that. But um, maybe because there are so many pictures uh, related with those YouTube searches of the Bank of Japan building, like, you know, like that maybe maybe that has something to do with it. Well, anyway, let's ask the cards for some advice on what we should be searching for in our lives and how to go about that search to get accurate results. <laughs> so yellow lemons, blue dumplings, magenta noodles, cards, tell us some things. Here we go. Oh, it's card 15 again. Speak where you want to be and the way will appear. Oh, we just had this card two days ago. That's funny. We've been drawing a lot of repeat cards recently. I don't know. Maybe I have to reset the deck again. So, well, actually, this is good advice. You know, when you think about what you're looking for, just try this formulation. Say, I want to be X. And whatever pops to mind, let that come to mind and say that out loud. And the odds are that's something you are searching for. And think about what that means, what you are searching for, and what that means in terms of your next steps and what to do about it. So try that out. Say, I want to be blank, and then fill that blank in with uh, something you are searching for. Just let your whatever first comes to mind, fill that in with it, and even if it's ridiculous, even if it sounds like I don't know what that means, and then search for that meaning. And I'll see you tomorrow on Life's Potluck Buffet. And if you enjoyed this episode or enjoyed any other episodes, so like if you hated this episode but you liked yesterday's episode, please hit the subscribe button and I guarantee you'll find something you're searching for in Life's Potluck Buffet.